What's up, guys? So the purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how we made our Go High Level AI Assistant in WordPress. And if you haven't already logged into Go High Level, you're going to want to do that and create your account. Then we're going to make a brand new sub account today because we have other accounts in here. So once you get to this screen where you have the ability to make a sub account, we're going to click create a new sub account. Then we're going to go through here. Today, we're looking at day spa. So we're going to select this and continue. So just click add manually once you get to this screen. We're going to fill out some of the details below. I'm going to skip that real quick. I just filled it out fast as possible. Then click add sub account and make sure you do the time zone here as well. Make sure you put the proper time zone for your business. So once you've done that, you're going to want to click in to your sub accounts and go to tutorial business. As you can see, that's what we named it. And then we're going to get straight into making a calendar. So we're going to go from calendar to settings. And then within settings, you're going to go to calendars. So we use snapshots and snapshot just means it has everything already created inside it. If you don't have any, you can copy ours or you can make them yourself. So for the purpose of this example, we're going to use the schedule appointment snapshot. So let's go to edit calendar. So here you can adjust a bunch of stuff like meeting details. Right now we're going to check our availability. You can add different days of the week. Let's just say Saturday's available. Just make sure that everything you care about is made available to you. You can adjust this at any time. Go ahead and click save and then we're going to head over to the my staff so in the my staff page as you can see we don't have any uh, clients so we're going to go ahead and make some staff i'll skip over this real quick do it fast so you don't have to watch so i just filled it out mary example at maryexample.com and just click next and go ahead and click save so we made our contact mary example at maryexample.com you're going to want to make sure that you put her in the calendar that you selected i selected schedule an appointment because that's what's in our snapshot. As far as roles and permissions, obviously you can change whatever you want your employees to be able to do. Make sure you save those settings. So now we have our staff and we have our calendar. So next is our private integrations. So private integration just means how you're going to integrate WhatsApp or any other things that you need, such as ChatGPT and other plugins. So we're going to go to create new integration. And instead of you having to learn how to go do custom integrations, it's a very easy plugin, super accessible to anyone. So you can quickly integrate your business with any different technologies out there. We're going to name it Go High Level Assistant because you might not always want to use it for just Go High Level. You might want to use it for other things. So you can change the name anytime. But for the purpose of this demo, that's what we're going to go with and then click next. And then we're talking about scopes. Scopes are just what the AI is responsible for. So we're going to add the following scopes because there's a lot of different stuff that we want our AI to cover. So I'm going to add all of the scopes that you need, and then I'll explain a couple of them to you just so you don't have to sit through all of it. I'm going to highlight a few. So view contacts, edit contacts, that's the eyes and the ability to change. And pretty much anything that you have a view for, you also want it to be able to edit. And again, all of this is for the AI chat bot, which I'm going to show you later. So after you get all of the scopes in, you're going to go to create and you're going to get this key. It is extremely important that you copy this key because once this goes away, you do not see it again. <clears throat> so copy and paste this key somewhere. And then we're going to copy this. So from there, we're going to navigate over to WordPress. Now in WordPress, once you make your account, go from the dashboard all the way down to go high level assistant here, which you will have the assistant and we are about to input the token. We already had a token, so we're going to put a different token. And then the location ID is just going to be this number here right next to settings. So this little code in the URL, don't forget that. You're going to copy and paste this into go high level. Once you put in the location ID, you can see we have a Mary Smith here, but that's one of our old examples. So we're going to refresh it and that's going to change. And then make sure you have the right time zone. And then I highly recommend you check developer mode because that's just going to leave a log of changes and things like that made. If you don't do that, you won't be able to see a log. So I highly recommend it. Then let's click save changes. So once you click save, the next step is we're going to go ahead and go to Vappy. So using this webhook, we're going to take it over to Vappy. And this is how you activate the AI voice assistant. Okay, so this is super important. So you're going to go over from WordPress over to Vappy, copying this API webhook. We already have it in Vappy. So when you're going to go from phone numbers to assistance, 
make sure you click into the right assistant and you don't have to worry about the prompt it's all right here for you you can copy and paste it but basically the goal of the prompt is to greet the customer and then find out what they need taking basic information so as you can see we're going to creating a contact and then we have the json example of what that should look like in our code as it's giving it back to us and as you see we're saying use the tool to create an invoice so we're really guiding it along a path here but we're not saying anything too difficult and you can see we have all the tools here if you go over to tools and then create contact it's the same server URL that we just copied from webhooks. So since it's already in here, we don't need to go back to WordPress. So we're going to go ahead and save our changes. So once you save it, we're going to head back over to the business and go to calendars. And what you'll notice is that we don't have any appointments whatsoever because we just created this account. But what we're going to do is call the AI and have it schedule an appointment for us. And we're going to see how similar what we schedule is on the phone to what we're about to write down so we're going to write down some facts here i'll show it on the screen in a second and then we're going to compare it to the ai call so if you go over to contacts so as you can see all of these say example so what we're going to do is also have the ai schedule an appointment and an invoice for one of the examples and we can go look back and check the contact so let's head back over to vapi and go to phone numbers so we're going to be calling this number here hello boss how can I help you? Hey, I'd like to create a new contact. And then after we create the contact, I'd like to set up an invoice request and then finally schedule an appointment. So let's start with creating the contact. Of course, I can help with that. Could you please provide me with the details for the new contact? Specifically, I need the following information. Full name, phone number, email address, and any additional details you may have. Okay, so the contact's name is john smith and the phone number is 555-364-5454 the email is john at example.com and the business name is smith group their address is 123 main street livonia michigan thank you for the details i have noted them down Let's create the contact and move on to creating the invoice. This will just take a sec. The contact for John Smith has been successfully created. Now, let's move on to creating the invoice. Could you please provide the details for the invoice? Including the customer name, is different. The item description, item price, item quantity, and how you would like the invoice to be sent. Okay, the service is a web press web design for 10 pages for $5,500, that's 5500. And then WordPress hosting for one year for free. Got it. Here's the invoice information formatted. Customer name. That's okay. You don't have to tell me. Item one. And then I need to schedule an appointment for April 23rd at 10 a.m. Hold on a sec. You mentioned scheduling the appointment for April 23rd at 10 a.m. Is that correct? Yes. The appointment for John Smith has been successfully scheduled for April 23rd at 10 a.m. Now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. If you have any other questions or need help in the future, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Okay, thanks. So let's go back over to Go High Level and check on the contact. So as we can see, John Smith, with the correct phone number and the correct email, they did make the contact. Let's click on the contact. Let's check the information. Everything looks like it's correct. And as you can see, there is an appointment booked for 10 a.m. And if we go over to the calendar that we made earlier, it is the scheduled appointment calendar. And last but not least, let's go over to the invoice payments and see was the invoice created, even though we didn't send it. So as you can see, we have invoice for John, WordPress design, 10 pages, 5,500, and WordPress hosting for one year. So looks like the AI was able to do it all. If you need any additional help, please feel free to text us or link is in the bio if you want to set up an appointment. Thanks a lot.